In this video, we will be looking at sharing values within ratios. So if we have a look here, one use of ratios are that they are used to share amounts while comparing one to another. So for example, the ratio three to four implies that one side gets three parts to the other side's four parts. And today we're gonna to look at how we do those with three different questions. So starting off with question one, share 50 pounds in the ratio two to three. Now the most visual way to learn this is to imagine you've got say buckets. So this side has two buckets, this side has three buckets. And all in all, there has to have 50 pounds shared between those buckets. So if there's five buckets in total, that means that each bucket must have 10 pounds each. Now this side has two buckets, so that's 20 pounds. And the other side has three buckets, so that must be £30. Now, once you get more familiar with this, you'll see that we can just add these values together, 2 plus 3, then do 50 divided by the sum of the ratio values. So 2 plus 3 gives us 5, and that gives us 10. And then we share the 10 based on what we just did there. So hopefully that makes sense. We're going to practice this in the second one as well. So we're going to go with the quicker method again, just by adding the sum Adding the terms in the ratio together, so 3 to 4 to 5, we can just add all these together. 3 plus 4 is 7, add 5 makes 12. So we need to do 72 divided by 12. And we see that must leave us with £6. So that means in those buckets, each bucket has £6 in it. So that means we need to multiply 3 by 6, 4 by 6 and 5 by 6, leaving us with 18 to 24, to 30, and that is your final answer. Now we have a challenge question. So two workers in a restaurant share the tips in line with the amount of time they've worked. So one of them worked more than the other. This ratio is three to five. So let's say one of the workers worked three hours and the other one worked five hours. One worker gets 16 pounds more than the other. How much did they get in total? So, Going back to the bucket analogy at the start, if one of them has three buckets worth and the other one has five buckets worth, we know that the difference between them is £16 and the difference in the buckets is two. So that means that two buckets must equal £16. Therefore, we can work out that one is equal to £8 and so we know that three of them would be 24 and five of them would have to be 40. So all in all, they had 64 pounds in tips and that would be your final answer. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that helped.